Welcome YouTube. Martin, it's your boy the Viking here, and today we're doing a special interview, exclusive interview with Rob, the the one of the head developers of the new mo mod for Mount of Blade Bannerlord. The project, the mod is called The Old World, and we're here to interview him. Hello, Rob. How are hey, you? Hey, man. Yeah, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm good. So, um, take so let let's let let's talk about um about your mod. It's um. It's quite interesting, isn't it? You've chosen one of the most um, difficult um, fantasy-based um, 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 fa franchises to basically make a mod out of. I don't know anyone who is brave enough to make a Warhammer Banner Bannerlord mod out out of. It's not the easiest, is it? Well, it, it it depends on your point of view. It's the easiest because all the lore is out there, and mm -hmm. you just have to chew it into a game. Um, yeah. At the other hand, it's one of the hardest because all of the fanboys, yeah, uh, I, including I, I, myself. I would say it's the hardest because of the amount of stuff that Warhammer has, like from the Skaven to the Tomb Kings to the Lizard Men. It's just so much. Uh, yeah, that, it, it is much, and it's a lot to portray in game. Uh, mm -hmm. That's why I kept it with only the old world. Well, wow, only the old world. Uh, yeah, at the at. The, at the time, we we're still talking about maybe expanding or doing this or doing that, but that's all speculations for even for us mm -hmm. and the uh, in the ads. But um, it, it's being talked about, and I'm not going to make any promises in in that kind of direction to you know maybe uh, do the dark elves or something like that. It's it's all loosely and. We don't know how to portray that yet in game. We don't even know if the Battle Lord engine can handle such a massive world. No, I mean, do what you can, and maybe we'll see if 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 it if it you know, like the fact that you're even attempting this should be should be um, commended and applauded because this is not the most easiest thing to um to to handle. Um. So how about how about this? How about you walk me through your how did you get into Warhammer? And then how did you get into Mountain Blade? So first, well, tell me how you got into Warhammer. Uh, I got into Warhammer because of the tabletop. Uh, I always collected 40k. And at, at some point, I got into fantasy, uh, the Empire to uh, be specific. Mm -hmm. And uh, I collected it, uh, played it some bit with a lot of friends and stuff like that. Um, but I was... Maybe 18, 19 in that period. I'm, I'm a lot older than that. Mm -hmm. And um, at once there was a uh, um, the Sega game, Warhammer, uh, mm -hmm. Total War Warhammer. Yeah. Uh, I've played that a lot. And uh, yeah, then... me too. Have you, have you played um, number one, two, and three? Well, three yeah. is coming out soon. Three is coming out, yeah. I play, I play both, yeah. uh, both a lot. And... Um, Let's fast forward until Bannerlord came out. I was playing Bannerlord and MXM was playing Warhammer and mm -hmm. I saw the pop-up and uh, I was thinking about myself walking around in the villages in, in, in Bannerlord and playing it. And I was, you know, um, it, it came to me. So uh, I was playing and I was like, okay, if we add Warhammer to this universe, what, how would it look like? And I was searching for mods uh, to maybe there's a Warhammer mod out there for Bannerlord and, and there was none. Mm -hmm. And basically that's when the whole idea started rolling. rolling. And I um, talked with, with my friend MXM about it. And, and yeah, we, we, uh, we are uh, where yeah. we are t today, you know? So... You basically you started off with a tabletop and then so talk to me about what's your your first experience with um with mountain blade what was your first experience with mountain blade was it the um the first one uh it was the very first one yeah mm. yeah i was a lot younger then and i was uh playing it i had a lot of fun i was cheating all the way <laughs> because it was really easy in that game and it it never left my heart mm. so sort of say yeah, so, uh, so. i always got, uh, came back to the first one yeah. Certain games leave us an impression, and this is one of those games that leaves an impression. Um, what really stand out for me in, in Mount of Blade was that it wasn't graphic heavy. It wasn't all about the graphics. It was about the mechanics. It was about uh, what you did with, with with your world and so forth. 
that was gameplay. Yeah, it was. It yeah. was mechanic and gameplay. You know, in an in, yeah. in an age where graphics is all the new hype, Mount Blade always stands above in mechanics. Uh, yeah, it it was refreshing at the uh, at the start. Yeah. I think it's the only game that is uh, touching that subject of gaming. Mm. So let, let's let's have so basically you and M and MX and MX and MXM, you both yeah. um, decided. Okay, so you both came together and decided. You know what? We're gonna make ourselves a Warhammer mod, even though there's a lot of complications involved with it. We're gonna do it. Uh, yeah. Some nobody did us that it wasn't uh, possible or. They they never told us it it was impossible or anything like that. Mm. So yeah. so let's 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 quickly look at the um at, at the up at the updates. So to to walk to just walk um to just walk the um the audience through what you basically are, what all that you went through. How did you start the mod? Where did where did it start from? Where did it um where was your starting point? Like where was the what was the first thing you did? Well, the first thing we did was uh, get a lore, make a Discord. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, learning myself uh, with uh, 3D assets making in Blender, like creating swords, creating shields, and stuff like that. Um, I don't have any experience with modding. This this is my first project with it. And um, yeah, we set a lot of things on paper, like how to proceed with this, um, how to do all the, um, get all the lore into it, um, and and. Uh, discussing about what is the best age to start and mm -hmm. um, and not trying to get ourselves overworked in that whole period. Mm. Because it's very easy to do that with Warhammer, isn't it? It is. It's a lot to take in and, and you have to filter through a lot and, and we have uh, uh, taken a look into all the army books of the army that we are going to include mm -hmm. and um, once you've done that, it's it's pretty easy to get uh, to set out goals for you or for yourself mm. and and for the mod. <clears throat> I see. So um, you started with Blender, and then after you went with Blender, you, you I seen the updates. I seen the first update you made was on the twenty second of the first update you posted on Discord was the twenty second of April, if I'm correct. Correct. Uh yeah, that's probably correct. Yeah, yeah. we started that that period. Yeah. yeah. 22nd of April, you posted two updates. You posted the um, model of, a, of what I can, well, I'm assuming is a shield. I can really mm -hmm. assume that's a shield. I'm, 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 I'm a little blank at the moment, but uh, monthly update October. You, you said April, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, April. 2020. Oh, it's it's on the Discord. Um, if if it's not textures or anything uh then yes it's it's a shield it's a shield <laughs> yeah it's it's just a round thing with a, with a, with a with yeah it's a shield it's a definite shield unless, yeah unless it's something else i don't know what it could be but it's a shield and you also posted a very interesting tabletop of some dwarves which i like the stunties <laughs> oh i love the stunties <laughs> yeah i also like the fact that they they, they kept that um, they carry around a book of grudges where they write every little thing, and it's so easy to get in the book of grudges. Um, for the dwarves, yeah, it is really easy to get into it. I mean, even if you spill beer, you're in 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 the book of grudges. You drink beer the wrong way, that's a grudging. Yeah. You you you, you talk to a to a dwarf, that's a grudging. You you do anything to a dwarf that isn't avoiding him or praising him, that's a grudging. Uh, yeah, but it's basically with the dwarves, they're uh, grudges. They're small grudges. They're full of grudge. Yeah. Uh, and then you, um, your next post was a actual Warhammer, pun intended. Um, you posted a Warhammer with a pers with a kind of scale of a person next to it. Now I'd like to ask you how. Um, was the modding um, during this time, the twenty fourth of April? Was the modding for Mountain Blade, the tools for modding for Mountain Blade, um, available, or was it still uh, being restricted? No, it was still a work in progress. The the modding tools were, I don't know, the top of my head, but basically a, a good six months later. Six months uh, later. So yeah. So for now, you were just modeling to get ready for it. Yeah, we we were um, creating models. We um, we got on some attention to it. 
uh, to the mod. So people are uh, dripping in. Uh, we got a uh, we got a 3D person uh, that helped me out a lot, and he kind of took over the whole 3D part. Uh, but unfortunately, um, he left because of personal issues, and mm -hmm. and yeah, we had to, you know, uh, step it up uh, and and find another uh, 3D head. Uh, I mean, but, it's it's. Yeah. There's not really you can do much about that because life is life and yep. life will get in the way of your most basic plans. Um, yeah. And what I can see is that up, um, on the um, during the 24th uh, of April, you posted this beautiful 3D model of a sword. I can, I'm assuming it's an Empire sword from the skull. Yeah, the, yeah. those are uh, meant to be uh, Empire great swords. Mm -hmm. uh, we got. Um, we got a 3D model that was way be better than me, so he redo all the uh, the the Empire great swords. They yes. actually look like Swihanders yeah, right I, now. Oh, I, I love I love the Swihanders. The Swihanders uh, are, 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 are so awesome. They're really heavy though. They're like stupidly heavy. Yeah, they they were used in the Middle Ages by uh, Landsknechten. Mm -hmm. uh it's it's german infantry to yeah, yeah. break bike formations and stuff yeah. like that they were also um the people what people mo most people don't understand is that there was that little hilt between the between the hilt and the um or what do you call it that little um bump that people put their hand there and they used it like uh sometimes they would even use it as kind of like a short spear because it was just so big yeah yeah, it was really big. They they used the spear. They even used it the other way around, grab it by the blade and just bludgeon someone yeah. with with yeah, the was... uh, with the handle. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm interested to see how 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 um how this will all look when it oh, man, it's gonna look so awesome. So on the 28th, I can see that you posted a much more um a more well Zweihander Zweihander because yeah. of the curls. Um, and then on the 29th, you posted a beautiful shield. I'll post all. I'll post all the pics on on the video. Do not worry. <laughs> oh, awesome. Um, and basically, you posted this beautiful shield with with the skull, another Empire edition. Yeah. Uh, the... What were you doing? What, what during when when he was doing the um the um the um the three D modeling? What were you doing during then? Were you um. Did did you have like an, a a three D engineer? Did you have a a, a law person, etc.? What what was, in terms of recruitment and what were you doing? Oh, in, in terms of people, we don't have had a lot of people during that period, um, mm -hmm. because I was um, we we were keeping it low, you know. Um, don't get too high of an expectation towards uh, the outside, and and um, because I didn't want this project this 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 brain fart to um slip away and die mm -hmm. i i want i want i want a i want to deliver a fully uh finished product mm. in, in the sense that if tailwords can finish their game it will be much appreciated because mm. yeah the, the the current state of the game isn't all that it it's getting a lot better and uh, with every patch let's I mean, keep it at that like I said, don't 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 beat yourself up about the state of the game. I mean, most mods, the biggest mods are not even out yet. The most the most biggest mods are not a single con or, um, total um, um, total conversion mod is out yet. Apart from Game of Thrones, and even that is uh, uh, below average in terms of quality. All the the total conversions are still working on their projects because yeah, they're, all, they're, they're they're all in the same boat as you. They're all like yep. they're all in, in taking their time, which is I think is better. I think it's better for you to take a uh, rather than it trying to cram it in six months, take a couple of years and bring out a, a mod that will just captivate the imagination. Right. So next up, yeah. we have a some. I'm 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 guessing that's um that's Dutch. You speak Dutch in Netherlands, don't you? Uh yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. Um I I'm I'm looking at the message and I'm thinking hmm that doesn't supposed to be there. But it was the early draft of the uh, dwarf um, uh, troop roster, empire, uh, the heroes, and the vampire counts. Yes, which is my, my the vampire yeah. counts are my um, I think they're my second favorite faction behind the Skaven. Hmm. Um, my Skaven are my are my favorite because I love rats. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, I like them baked. With oh, the, wow. uh, 
<laughs> with e flame uh, throwers of the of the dwarves. Oh, evil bastard! <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, then, we... so the, the the roster. Let me. So the roster was it was it like um. I'm just gonna have a quick look. You see, let me just see. Um, open file. Let's just look at the. Wow, you. So you already had some. I'm having a look. See at the. Uh, I'm gonna post the um the the roster that you had. Is it okay if I post the rosters in the video? Yeah, yeah you can yeah. post them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'm just I'm just to show the the people like what you have been doing, etc., and the evolution of how basically you progress from something. So. You basically decided, okay, so this is what we're going to be doing, and this is basically um, how. So, you, wow, there's a lot of this, even for a mountain blade. This is quite a bit of um of of um. Oh my God, the empire has so many. Uh, you're actually going to put demi griffs in now as well. Um. Yeah, we are. We uh, uh, we are currently working, still working on that. We got a. Uh, fully 3D model demigriff in, but uh, we are still kind of struggling with the um, uh, mean, skeletons. I would, I would imagine so. It's a, it's a, it's a demigriff. Obviously, yeah. You know, anything fantasy based. This is the, this is the biggest issue when it comes to fantasy based in, in Mountain Blade. Is anything fantasy based is going to be a nightmare for you guys, to, 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 to structure. Yeah, yeah, and and we were uh, discussing those things, and and yeah, maybe we can do it with the horse skeleton, but uh, no, then no, it no, 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 wouldn't. No, there's no, there's no way then, you can do it. No, 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 and and then it wouldn't be possible to uh, to let the demigraph attack and stuff like that because of the shape keys and the skeleton and how that works, mm -hmm. and and then we just we were just like, okay, let's just finish up the model and um, store it in the shelf. And then once the ske custom skele uh, skeletons comes out, we'll um, dust it off and put it in the game. Mm. It's, it's it's just as that. It, we we have it. We have the model, and we are just waiting for Tail Wolves to put in the custom skeletons. Mm. I mean, I, I'm here's the thing with Tail Wolves is uh, at least they're taking their time, which I I commend. I commend them for taking their time on the thing because. Here's the thing about it is they don't want to rush it. At least they took their time when it when it came to developing this game, which is always a plus. So let's move on to the next thing. You created the Dwarven Shield. Oh yeah, that one. Yeah. yeah you, uh, so it was a very beautiful Dwarven Shield. Very. Yes. Uh, yes, it was. Um, but in that period of time, I didn't know anything about LODs or, or um, um, anything 3D related. And it, mm. it is insanely high in its polygon count. Uh, I don't know exactly, but it, it is high. Wow. Uh, way too high to put in the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, hopefully you can, get, you can make a, a, ver a, a, bet, a better version of that, which is you can actually put in the game. Well, we, we got a lot of uh, shields in the game. Uh, dwarfing shields, to be precise. And then you have yeah. this beautiful axe ne next to it, which is... Oh, I, I love... I, I love my, I'm a Viking, so I like axes. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I can appreciate a good axe. Yeah. Oh, wow. You, you even detailed it even further in the second image. Wow. Yeah. I'm, and, assuming, and... I'm assuming that's going to be available to the, um, to the Dwarven. Uh, yeah, th those are uh, restricted or, or only you can get them in dwarven settlements. Um, we are at the moment not uh, busy with the dwarves. Uh, we were in the first stages, uh, but the custom skeleton took uh, it, it's, it isn't out, so we can't properly um, animate the dwarves yet. So no. we're we're just waiting for it. Yeah, there's uh, yeah. Like, like like you said, there's not much you can do. All you can do is just do the basics wait. and and continuously wait. Yeah. And then you release the um the mod DB page, which is yep. a good a good place to find mods if you're looking for them. And you decided that you're gonna do the old world and it's beautiful map of the old world, and so forth. Mhm. Mm and you're gonna do it at the time of t of Carl Franz. Ooh. Yeah. Does that, there, does that mean we're gonna get Grimgo Ironhide? And um, is is he alive in that time period? Then yes. Carl, Carl Franz, I I think he is. I think yeah, Grimgo Ironhide is is alive in that yeah. period. Yeah. What about uh, Quick 
Krieg Headtaker. Um, that's a Skaven that's in the most southern part of Lustria. Is it Lustria? No, it's not Lustria. It's it's all the way south and yeah, it's past. Our borders, yeah, our yeah, borders yeah. end with the uh, the Badlands. Mm. So yeah, Bad don't 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 get your hopes up. No, um, but you but you're gonna have um. Here's a question for you while we're on the subject. Um, it, it's it, T Talaria is there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, so that does that mean that you're gonna also have Skaven Blight? Um, there should be Skaven right there, right? Yeah, I mean so, Skaven Blight is there. Yeah. Uh, all roads lead to Skaven Blight. I love that uh, sentence. You want to answer? Yeah. <laughs> no. Um, we are. We got a lot of troop trees. Uh, mm -hmm. worked out and uh, the Skaven is is a fan favorite within the mod within the team mm -hmm. and they are probably if we can balance the weapon teams uh, pretty pretty okay uh, mm -hmm. then then they should be able to make it into the game yeah I mean the Skavens are all about numbers just uh, yeah. yeah, in Warhammer, it's all about numbers, just mass numbers. Yep. Uh, it's it's just insane. I mean, uh, if if you read the law about how the Skaven came, like the, the have you ever read the, the the little bit of law that is available for the Skaven, like the um the Talarian, um, was it the poem of thirteen? Was it um? And, oh yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, it, I, it's so yeah. it's so dark. It is just so dark. It it is it it was a bet uh, or a how do you call it again a a bet he made with the humans that if he didn't finish it overnight uh, um, he basically what what, yeah. ha what happened is the, the humans um the dwarves and humans lived in an in in, a, in, in an old, in one of the older cities and decided yeah. to construct a tower to, for to celebrate their achievements. They worked on this tower for generations and generations and generations and generations. And eventually, they, they couldn't finish it because it was just so tall. So at the, at, so an, a man shrouded in grey came along and decided, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'll finish the tower for you in one night. And in exchange, allow me to make my own tribute to the tower. The humans yeah, are, for his own god. Yeah. yeah. The, yeah, the, the, the humans agreed sorry. and immediately plague and destruction came followed suit etc yeah etc and and a lot of people died yeah yeah that's basically it yeah the, the poem plays out like a horror movie yeah yeah right yeah. so moving on we next have um we can see that you're starting to work on more um different types of axes uh, a two-sided axe which is also beautiful and now you're starting to do war actual war hammers and warhammer yeah and and uh Belliger's hammer mm -hmm. yeah yeah and 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 at that moment we had uh more and more people coming in mm -hmm. um also with the we did weekly updates in the beginning uh we stepped down from that because it was causing uh a pretty big amount of stress you know to get every uh and weekly update out and stuff like that mm. so we switch towards uh monthly updates mm. so uh, i mean you gotta do what you gotta do in the end of the day yeah yeah um, and and uh, in that period a lot of more people came in and and the uh, team grew exponentially mm. uh, it it's really between that period it's it's july and at that end of the year between july and uh uh, December, the the theme grew, explosive wise, really fast, really big. Hmm. So, so I can see that um, during the um, the 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 tenth of the um, or was it the tenth of the of August, you sent out this message and so forth, and then you accompanied it with this amazing, beautiful axe. Oh, that, look at that! That axe is so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, we got a better one now. <laughs> it looks, looks even more better. So, yeah. Uh, I mean, I, I cannot wait to see what this game is look is gonna look like. And then you also followed it up again with a, with a shield. Yeah. Yeah. 
and I'm just going through every single one of the things. Oh, you're gonna have um, what's it called? Um, the os is it osmans? Uh, 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 Osland. Yeah, the yeah. The, the, the one with the ball and and the cross thing. Deus yeah. Sigma held a hammer. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. We we made a lot of uh, progress in terms of 2D at the moment. Uh, we did a lot of banners mm -hmm. uh, in in the period of time. Uh, whilst 3D was kicking off, I could you know um, get a step back, get my overview back of the mod about how everything was going and stuff like that. And I basically from that point on, I started to. Uh, do all the backend stuff, you know, do all the administration, handle applications of people and, and writing out um, uh, lore and, and writing out how to put it into the game and stuff like that. Mm. Um, so, yeah, I switched from 3D to, you know, doing all the administration of the mod. Mm. How did you find that? How did you find the administration part of the mod? Uh, way better than 3D. <laughs> <laughs> uh. No, you, you still got to keep in mind, it was my first time doing making 3D assets. And I was like, yeah, OK, I got to learn this stuff because we want something to show. And um, we did eventually, but it took me an insanely uh, amount of time to get only a shield out. Um, yeah. I was maybe the four or five days busy with just only getting a shield out. I mean that's not so bad. I mean consider considering that it was your first attempt, it's not so bad. It could have been way worse. And considering how they turned out, I, I think that it, it it turned out for the best. And then we have the um, you did some more banners. You did the Middle Land. Um, you also did the Hotchland. You did this what this kind of is it one handed axe appears to be a one handed axe. Yeah, it's a one handed dwarf axe. Yeah, uh, they awesome. they are. A, a totally different cell because uh, another person made them. Uh, they they are a bit uh, thicker and mm. and they are a bit um, more massive, like mm. you know, held by a dwarf. Wow. Right. And moving on, we have oh my god, we have these beautifuls. Wow. And strange to us, like we from that one, we had a, a this amazingly gorgeous textured single hand axes wow look yep. at those i'm looking yeah, at if... i'm looking at the 14th of the um the 14th of the september post yeah and, and we even got them in in uh three conditions like like just just yeah, I, I can a... see that you got them um yeah um, pristine bloody <clears throat> and then very bloodied and i'm like wow that is that is amazing like the, the, yeah. the, the, the de i can't get over the detail Jeez, the detail! Like, ah, oh, the detail, the detail, the detail. It's just so fantastic. Like, both these axes are amazing. And then you know, scroll down, and you have more banners. Just more and more banners. Uh, amazing amount of banners. And you have the first um, dwarven armor set. I can see. Yeah, Belger. Yeah, Belger Iron Hammer. Yeah, my favorite dwarf. <laughs> Your favorite one. So grudge bearer. Yeah. So grudge bearer isn't your favorite dwarf then. No, no, gr f far by it. No, um, Belliger is uh, hands down. Um, your favorite. He, he's he, yeah uh, because of his background story. He had a hard time and he, he's trying to reclaim his uh, eight peaks. Mm. Well, yeah. see, sometimes you gotta do what you can do. But I am amazed by the, yeah. the, the 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 detail of the armor. <clears throat> it looks like what a dwarf would actually wear. Yeah, we even got it into the game, but you know, with normal skeletons. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's it's a shame. It's it's on the shelf, gathering dust, and it's still there. Well, that's all you can do. All you can do is just put things on the shelf until they release again. You know, that's yep. all you can do. Yeah. And now that's you so have you have this, and moving on to the next one, you have this beautiful orc hammer. Well, sorry, orc um, axe. Sorry, you have this beautiful green skin. Um, axe it looks like something that um grimgore would use not quite but it, it's 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 beautiful because it's what i expect from an orc yeah it's it's the orc ash uh axe um i believe it is the axe of uh grimgore iron it is hammer. The axe of grimgore yeah iron. it is it is wow i mean grimgore is the um is definitely the 
the uh, it is definitely a great war leader. I'd say that much. Uh, uh, yeah, he's he's almost the most badass green skin we have. Yeah. <laughs> and moving onward, we can now see the uh, map of the empire. I'm assuming that's the map of the empire. Oh, that that was one of the first. Um, uh, um, how do you call it? Iterations. Yeah. Uh, or or right, a so... mind map of of all the people together. Um, about okay, this this is how we're gonna do it. This is gonna be in it and stuff like that. Mm. Um, it turns out we can do way more than yeah. this one. Yeah, but trust me, if you're if you're feeling bad about the iteration, be proud of that. Be proud of where you started and when you came from. Because trust me, I when this interview is over, I'll show you one of my iterations for uh, for, for something I created and my my iterations for a map, and you'll see that you should be proud of what you started with, because that looks fantastic as just as the first iteration. Oh, I'm I'm always proud. Um, I I always um, I say remember where we came from. Mm. I mean, no experience in modding and stuff like that. Um, always stay humble. Yeah. Always. Yeah. And then you have also. Oh my God! I'm just looking at this. Like it looks so fantastic. You know, I have the 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 dwarven warhammer. Oh. Like all of these are just incredible. They're just all of these um, real. I'm I'm looking at the real life models, like the things that you put into the um, into the actual um, how it looks in in like when humans wield them, and you have these axes in the back with these actual. These axes look otherworldly. I have to say. Yeah, um, they look uh, bored, like, uh thick and hefty. Yeah. Yeah. Um, especially the 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 one where he has multiple axes on his back. Yeah. That that. All the credit goes to Timmer for that one. He he spent an enormous amount of time to, you know, uh, loading all the assets into it. Uh, he did he, he did a tremendous uh, tre uh, tremendous job with that one. Mm -hmm. And you can see the axes that he used, and it's it's an amazing quality axes because it's like it's um, I, I would say it's it's closely resembled to a Dane axe. It's very closely resembled to a Dane axe, but not quite. It's more like um, I would say it's a it's a cross between a Dane axe and a halberd looking at it yeah yeah they're pretty long axes yeah it's also the wood is very thick like the the, the handles are, are very thick considering the axe itself yeah um if if you look at the uh and a thumb or or how a dwarf is made build up um they got pretty big hands yeah for for mining purposes probably um and, and other purposes as well yeah, beat up, <laughs> skaven, green skin, stuff like that. You know, they were battle hardened, and and they probably have, they they have short, stubby legs, and and big torsos, and and pretty big arms. You know. Yeah. I mean, a dwarf is, it's a power to reckon with, yeah. uh, on its own, and we want to portray that into the game that their weapons are more, um, Tank tanky tanky or more brute force mm. uh, than than the elegant one-handers or swy-handers uh, mm. that we put into the game. And I think it portrays pretty well. Mm. Then we move on to the, ne to the next thing. We have the um, pickaxes um, that you've made, kind of like pickaxes. Um, now, what are they, they? Are these like pickaxes? I can't... Yeah, those, those are all pickaxes. Yeah. So the pickaxes, and then we have um, a, a real pickaxes like these double pickaxes. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah, and then we got two-handed minor pickaxes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Moving down, we have the Breton. We're gonna have Bretonians. We have Bretonian men in arms halberds. Yeah, and shields. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Mm, so they, gonna... they are. Yeah, those are already in the game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I've always, I've always said the Bretonians are the simp lords. The simp lords? Um, <laughs> yeah, you're probably right with that one, but they got a pretty fearsome cavalry. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, no doubt. I mean, but they are simps. Make no mistakes. For my liege right. and my lady, I it's, shall it's simp all f away. <laughs> it's all for the lady. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They cause... got the most basic infantry there is. Just peasants with weapons yeah and then they got near immortal knights uh, mm. that, that yeah 
that's pretty cool. And but then, still, it's and then I it's. I can see the. Um, I can see that you've done some. You've is that like the you you show an image of Kislev and the northern waste, and is that basically what you're looking at in terms of the um the map for the Kislev wastes, the northern waste? Oh, yeah, that was our um first uh, goal with uh, world creator, and still finding everything out with how can we do this? How does this work? How does the program work? Mm -hmm. And um. Um, I believe, yeah, Keyforce made the, made the whole foundation of the map and he did everything. And um, there were some um, small things with it. We tried to perfect it and eventually we said, uh, uh, okay, uh, fuck it. We're going to rebuild it. And he did the foundation and I continue to build onto it. So it's mm. maybe for 85%. 185 percent uh, the okay. uh, true to the world map mm. i mean it, it, you you gotta do what you gotta do i mean you're allowed some intonations here's the thing it's very difficult to put this thing into in warhammer into an actual 3d um, what's the word into a module that you can actually see and 3d it's not that easy. Most of the Warhammer has been 2D for a while. So it's very difficult to, to do that. Moving on. We have uh, our Empire Scenes. Work in, work in progress. Work in progress. Yeah. And these um, scenes were... Wow. I mean, just the work in progresses were amazing. Um, yeah, this was Etro. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Etro and Kisaro made those uh, maps. Oh... Uh, you should look to um, look uh, at the maps they made. Now they, we were still. You know, there was the period where the uh, the editor was coming out, and we were still um, finding our way with it. And and I mean, Atro really goes bonkers with his maps. It's it's so beautiful how he created, and um, he streams a lot um, with with us. We all have a blast. Uh, he's he's a really chill guy, and he just creates the most awesome maps there is. Mm. And then we have um, moving on from we have the Ster the Sterling State Troops, and we have then, yeah. Then we have a video you released. You released one of your first videos. Yeah. You release um. Um. Uh, oh yeah, Rob is gonna uh, is gonna join us. One second, let me just add Rob. Uh, yeah, MXM is gonna join us. Rob is here. Right, I'm, I'm just gonna send you a friend request. I'm gonna send him a fun one, guys. Uh, right, okay. Let's. Can you add Rob, or is that. Okay, let's just. Uh, let's just see. Oh, no. Yeah, I can, I can add MXM. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Right, right okay. All right. Yeah. Hello, hello. Sorry for the delay, gents. It's hey. cool. It's cool. Uh, right. So, uh, we were just talking. We were just doing the um, the interview and, and talking about um, about uh, the progress of, of the mod, so forth. Right. So, so we we we've um, we've gone up to the um, very first uh, environmental asset video. So you, this is where you you guys released um, an environmental asset. Your first um, video for environmental assets and so forth. Looks beautiful. The uh, variations of skulls and so forth. <clears throat> lovely, lovely. Yeah, you, you need to have a lot of skulls in Warhammer. <laughs> I mean, oh. let's be fair. I, I don't understand how the population, how the populations manage to survive in Warhammer. I mean, the amount of of death that goes in Warhammer. I don't understand how the population, how the human population has managed to maintain itself so much. I yeah, mean, I'm the sure. rabbits, you know. Uh, that's. <laughs> Yeah, they, they probably are rabbits at this point. What, they just, they what, they breed on a yearly basis and they just pop out like nine per time? Um, yeah, I think so. N not a, it's not confirmed, but yeah. They, you, they, you do every, you know, if they, you really love the Empire and you really love Sigma, right? Like, If you love Sigma, you'll give us nine babies. Yeah, uh, otherwise, just go bonkers. The Inquisition. <laughs> otherwise, he sent the Inquisition. 
Oh, oh my God, the Inquisition. Oh, I'm sent down to the to, to the sewers to investigate. Oh, I see, I see Skaven. What's this Skaven about Inquisition? Oh, you are a heretic. You must be burned. There's yeah. no such thing yeah. as bad people. <laughs> yeah. That sums it up pretty good. And then, and then you posted um, the environmental concept art, and then you posted <laughs> your... Um, and then you started to um, post more scenery, beautiful scenery again. Um, yeah. By Antrotimus. And, and again, atrocious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? At at atrocious, yeah. Atrocious. Um, yeah. And you also did... Um, uh, these lovely gravestones and all these um, empire symbolism and so forth. And then you yeah. posted uh, Grave Guard concept art. Now, the vampire counts are my second favorite um, faction, right behind the Skaven. Uh, I, whenever someone posts um, anything on, the, on this Discord relating to rats, I always, po I always try and post like a, um, a Skaven related comment because I love, I love rats. Um, then we have more environmental assets. I'm guessing that these environmental assets are dwarven. Yeah, they're dwarven environmental assets. Yeah, they're dwarven. Yeah, the chains with the... With the I'm guessing, what are those? Are those like clock or cogs? Cogs. Uh, yeah, cogs and gauges. Mm. Uh, gauges. Yeah, there are gauges. Mm. You, you know, pressure and stuff like that. Mm. Brew beer. And then we have the Sylvanian marshes. Wow. Look very creepy. <laughs> wouldn't be caught. Yeah. Wouldn't want to be caught in there. Then we have more environmental assets, more dwarf. We have more empire environmental assets. And then we have yeah. the first ever main menu for the environment. Yeah. Our oh, main menu looks sick, by the way. Yeah, it it, it changed a lot uh, during the whole period. You know, we were still finding. Uh, ways to get a different menu into it mm -hmm. um, and and it, it changed the plan of the menu it, it changed it, a lot of times was it is it easy to put in a menu or is it difficult um, it's it's not that difficult but most time is into uh, getting into the scenery and stuff and placing everything and um, yeah that, that takes a lot of time but to implement it into the game it's it's pretty easy I see so making one is hard, putting it into the game is easy. Yeah. You, you want it to be, like, great, right? Like, the one you're seeing right now, like, the amount of setup. I believe Timmy made this one uh, from the top of my head. Like, the amount of time and effort he put into this to make it look the way it looks. It's just, like, it's not just placing everything down. It's also, like, moving around with the angle of your camera. Uh, wow. Making sure, like, it's, it's almost like photography, in a sense, mm. uh, what the, you're doing. The one I'm looking at is from the, um, is from the 20, it's from the 12th of, the, of, of January 2021. Sorry, 20, uh, 20, yeah, 20. that's yeah, yeah. that's, yeah, that's the main there. menu from Timmer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah, I, I mean, I can only imagine the work that it, I can only imagine that, because whenever you see something that has a lot of work on it, you don't see the all the immense amount of the other work that is done on it because of lighting and effects and stuff like that. I mean, jeez, it's it's a lot to take in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we have the first post of the uh, grave guards. Beautiful yeah. detail, and this was by Tom Sow. Uh, Tom Shaw, Shaw Muscle, yeah, Shaw, yeah, the one and only, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, he... And wow, I mean, I, I love, I love, I love myself some vampire accounts, and this is some high level detail. Here's the thing, and I'll say this about about your mod is, and I'll say this about mods. Sometimes, not always, but sometimes, you know, forty to sixty percent of the time, when a mod, when you have a mod like this, where it's um where you have um, dedicated models like yourself, you end up overdoing the official releases like Creative Assembly. I mean, look at the textures Creative Assembly has for their Grave Guards and then look at that. Like, you far ha have outdone them in the textures and the, pre and the presentation. Well, that, that's easy to say because they're two totally different kind of games. Yeah, but... They... they if if they are going to put in these kind of textures on their models then i think whole warmer will run 10 fps in game well, um, your pcs will burn yeah the, the pc will burn um 
because th there's something with the LODs and, and uh, level, yeah, the LODs um, on, uh, if you slap those textures onto the models, um, it's it's gonna, uh, you know, uh, screw over your PC. Uh, with Bannerlord, you can go much higher into the level of detail uh, we, we can put in. I think also a reason, like for the difference here, right, is like in Bannerlord, you're going to be among these grave guard, right? You're going to be fighting them or you're going to be like commanding them. Mm. So you will see them from up close. And I know there's a lot of like uh, Warhammer 2 uh, players, sort of Warhammer 2 players that like to zoom in on the models. Mm -hmm. But that's not the focus of the game. The focus of the game is it's like being strategy. RTS. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it, I, I, that, I've, so... I've, play, I've played Total War for a long And it's like one of the Total War uh, Rome was my one of my first games. I've, I've One of the first games I've ever played. And I've played Total War. I have every iteration of Total War. And it's all about the strategy, the strategy of combat, the strategy of, of managing armies. That's Total War. But yeah. even then, the, the, the textures, sometimes the textures on, on Total War Warhammer were just, uh, I don't want to be disrespectful, but they were sometimes meh. They were like, <laughs> not what I was expecting. Like, meh. Well, I, I didn't spend much time zoomed in in Total War. Yeah. Or like in the slow-mo <laughs> trying to command your army, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, 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 I love, I love the slow mo when you're just charging in and and you're like, I, I slow mo when I barrage my enemy with with artillery. I just slow mo and I like watching them light up. It's it's so awesome. Yeah. Um, so we have the grave guard and that was amazing. Then you posted um, that you're gonna be switching to a monthly um thing February, and then yeah. you have the um you have a video where you say. Um, Empire versus Vampire cinematic, very interesting. Yeah, yeah. It was in the beginning of this year. Yeah. yeah. And then we go to a very in to the, f the first full armor um, armor set for um, for Bretonians. We've already had the um, the Dwarven, but now we have the Bretonian armor set. Very wow. So that's the Simp Lords, Bretonians. <laughs> yeah, the <Lewin>. one. Uh, <coughs> We sim for the lady, you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, they sim so hard. Too much sim for me. <laughs> uh, so you're I, you're you you never played Britonia? I, I I played Britonia, but I I they weren't they weren't my favorite. Like I'm from Britain, but even I have to say that's a little bit too much British in my in my Britonians. Well, they're, they're pretty much French. French, really? I thought I thought they were yeah. based off of Britain. Yeah, yeah no, they're one hundred percent based on France. Yeah, uh, they're they're uh, maybe maybe ninety nine percent based on the French. Oh wow! Yeah. Does that mean they eat a lot of baguettes? Um, they probably love baguettes. Yeah. <laughs> I love how it just goes to the French and instantly like baguettes, <laughs> like <Yeah>. first thing. <laughs> or maybe we, maybe they like the simp, croissants more. We simp. We eat baguettes while we oh. sing for ladies. I like a pan chocolat. Also pretty good. And what yeah. I love about this is this uh, is is the amazing attention to details that you guys have put into these. It's just every one of these things, every one of these posts, even the most earliest ones, has an insane level of attention to detail. Yeah. It's 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 stupid in the, the level of, ins of of insane level to detail. It's like, wow. And even the most basic helmets, like um, the Bretonian helmets, is just an amazing amount. And moving onward to the vampire counts, the vampire laws, again, stupid amount of insane amount of level of detail. Yeah, uh, Sean Mussel made that one. Um, yeah, what what can I say about the guy? It's an uh, he's an absolute beast. Mm. He's he, he's um, really getting into these models and then creating them. And giving shape uh, to them is a really fun process to watch because he also streams on the mm -hmm. channels uh, wow. in 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 the voice channels, and it's it's fun to see him working on this. It's so soothing. It's 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 um, like ASMR only better. It's visual as yeah. ASMR. Yeah, visual ASMR. Okay. Also a bit more safe for work these days, you know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a, a lot better. At least he's not in a hot tub, you know. In a bikini. <laughs> oh my god! But like I think like Shaw Muscle, like he, he loves this and he is insanely talented. And 
mm. like his passion for this like i think a good example of how passionate he is about warhammer and modding for it is like that he was one of the people that figured out how to put like custom uh models into the original warhammer title for total war even though creative assembly is like no 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 you don't do that <laughs> and he's like hell yeah we are yeah he uh, and uh Willem should did that yeah wow i mean i'm looking yeah, I'm, that's... I'm looking at the ghoul head i'm like geez that is a fantastic like the teeth the especially the teeth on the ghoul head i'm like wow teeth are difficult to do on any model and yet look at how amazing the detail is on that i mean he, he the ghoul head has my teeth look he has my teeth that's my teeth <laughs> yeah that looks like british teeth to me all right yeah. well <laughs> in, in all honesty i think the ghoul's better off I mean, the, the it's just, it's just, it looks scary. It looks creepy and scary, and ugh. Oh yeah, Victor nailed nailed this one with the cool hat. Mm. Yeah. The skeleton swords, the shields, man. And let's see what else. The vampire great sword. Wow. Vampire sword, the warrior priest hammer, uh, the empire rapier. And the guillotine. So how is the guillotine going to come into play? Well, the guillotine is a uh, scene prop. Scene prop. So I don't get to actually yeah. send people to the execution whenever whenever they, they put too much um, salt on my meat. Um, no, because in that uh, time period, salt, salty meat was all the way to go, you know, to keep it fresh for a longer period of but what time. what if I want more salt on my meat? Well, then if he puts... Uh, too little salt on your meat, then he he needs to hang, you know. But I mean, if you're vampire count, you, you can feed him to the ghouls, right? So yeah, you sit back, just drink like a nice glass of blood, and just yeah. see him get absolutely destroyed. Ah, uh, oh man, maybe you know, um, in Mountain Blade Battle you have the option to um capture people, capture generals, and execute them. Yeah. Yeah. Will that uh, the uh, will that be available in in this mod or not? Um. Yes, because it's still in Bannerlord, but mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, currently uh, we are struggling with uh, because most of the dwarves are over two hundred years. Um, when we enable death, they um, are gonna die within the first month of playing, and then it's gonna crash the game because a, oh a legendary lord is gonna die because he's two hundred years old. And not to mention how old is uh, Ma Manfred von Karstein, you know? So what? You, so how how are you gonna how how are you gonna work that out? What do you have to put like so this character is immortal kind of code? Yeah, we got really talented coders, and we are working out the kinks with that one. Which talking about the vampire thing, I have a question from a player's perspective. Um, something that I want to know: Is it possible for me to start out as a human? Now, I, if, if it's not possible, I understand because. I get it. Is it possible for me to start out as a human and then become a vampire and then so forth and then have children? Or is that not possible? The moment I become a vampire, no more children. Uh, if you become a vampire, no more children. Um, we are still working out on that one. It's it's an idea that is a um, that is flying around a lot mm -hmm. and talked about uh, a lot within the mod. And we're still, you know... Um, it is possible, Pro probably it is possible, and if it is, we're gonna put it in. Mm, yeah, like we were discussing the possibility of like uh, how we're gonna tackle this, right? Like, so how can you, are you going to become a vampire? Well, how are we gonna do it? There are ideas flying around, like we can make it quest based. Um, so there's a lot of options there, and we uh, first of all we need to see if we can do it, and then we can start working from there. It's like, so how are we gonna enable mm. the player to uh, dive into this? Like, how is he going to be able to turn out that way? Yeah, and, and most importantly, he needs to have fun with it, you know. Mm. Indeed. Yeah, we don't want it to be like a tedious quest line, right? So I want to become yeah. a vampire, and I have to do a shitty quest line, which is tedious as fuck. I need to like no, no take no two quest. two pinkies. <laughs> no. I need to take two pinkies of like dead empire soldiers and present them, and then I can go on to the next stage, which is like left pinky toes. Like no. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not like wow. At least it's not like uh, World of Warcraft level of, of fetch quests. Oh my god. Oh, oh. no, I, I I hate fetch quests. Yeah, I mean, if you get to World of Warcraft grind quests, oh my god. Oh. 
Oh. I'm playing Burning Crusade right now, man. Like, I know all about it. Like, yeah. the worst is when the drop rate isn't even, oh, like, no, no, that no. I, 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 you I, just... I, Have you ever played, like, Warlords... Do you remember Warlords of Drenors? Like, the, 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 um... The legendary items for Warlords of Drenors gr grind quests. Where it's, like... Oh, no, quest? I stopped that... I, I stopped after Mists because it's like, fuck this shit, fuck retail. <laughs> oh my god, Mists of Pandaria's daily quests. Too many! Okay, guys, I'm still here. I'm not a Wolf Warcraft nerd. Yeah, that's fine. I'm, Says the guy that's a Warhammer nerd. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm more of a Diablo nerd. Mm. Anyways, so, moving on. The scenery. Let we, we ha After the guillotine, we have the scenery. Um... And we have the scenery. We have the um, we have the the forest road, which is very beautiful. We have the swamp. I'm yeah. guessing that's going to be the kind of swamp you're going to find near um, um, Skaven Blight. Um, more uh, empire uh, swamps, mm. uh, vampire swamps. Yeah, mm. like the, the border area, basically. I believe that's yeah. what this was for. Mm. Yeah. And then we have empire scenery. We have this kind of I don't this kind of nighttime town kind of place. No, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, and then we have this very. I, I love, I love this. I love this. This Empire Castle, I love that. I love the like. Whenever I play any kind of Skyrim or Dragon Age or any kind of game like that, I love that. Or um, Kingdom Come Deliverance, I like that castle on a hill, and there's this image of the castle on top. I love that. I absolutely love that. And it, it's, this, it's it's classic image of a castle. Yeah, and I absolutely yeah. love that. It's, it's like that looks to me like a fortified castle that's going to be a nightmare to siege. Um, all Warhammer castles are a nightmare to siege. Yeah. Yeah. I also imagine... Just wait for Helmguard, boy. <laughs> I also imagine that they are a nightmare to manage. Um, I, I can't really answer that, but in Battlelord, all the towns and, and cities and castles are a bit tedious to manage, mm -hmm. so, yeah. But talking from a Warhammer, you know, we're just staying in. We're staying in line with the game, right? Like yeah. we we keep a certain level of tediousness. We can't make it too easy on you guys. No, uh, but talking from a Warhammer perspective, in terms of the law, it is insane the level of management that must go on in, in, to keep a certain um, holding in place. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's also part to do with the empire structure, right? Like that's also something that's. Mm. Of course, insanely detailed with the state army and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. In, in case of Bretonia, it's going to be different because it's like completely like peasant based, like good old feudal system, basically. So that's also uh, mm. a challenge, of course. Like, how are you going to make that shine, make that pop, management wise? Mm. <clears throat> now, moving on to the next one, we have the Lichburg. Uh, it's just amazing amount of scenery in Lichburg. I'm, I'm just I'm amazed by the amount of attention to detail. You didn't skip a single street corner. Not a single window. Was it Nina? Yeah. Nina, N Nina did N the, the, um, the, the art. It was the artist who <clears throat> did this. Yeah, Ninian did it. He, he grabbed a, um, a top-down view of the city, and he created it one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Wow. It's just amazing. He, he put in so much time uh, for... for this to make through it they're, they're all uh little nooks and crannies there are alleyways there's a um is he done with the under or with the sewer system i believe he's done with it uh there's a sewer system in it and you can get lost in this town wow oh now i'm kind of glad that the, now i'm kind of glad i'm kind of glad for the tab button because otherwise i would get stuck yeah yeah you got your fast travel out uh, yeah. I'm we, kind of... uh, we we are going to disable that. You know that, right? Oh my god, you absolute <laughs> You evil, no. evil men. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, you're stuck now, boy. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're stuck now. Suck it up. Uh, <laughs> Excuse no. me, Captain. Where's the nearest exit? It appears I'm rather lost. And then the shadows are like, yes, yes, he lost. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh no. Then we have an Empire Village, which is Ah, oh, again, I, I'm always taken. My breath is always taken away by the, by the level of details, because I come from. I, I'm 27. You know, a anything like high, high level and high quality that just takes my breath away. Because I remember back when Mountain Blade was very low, low key graphics. Um, so this really does take my breath away in terms of what you guys are showing. Um, and then you have concept art for Empire Generals. 
just incredible. I don't know how the hell they move with so much armor on. Well, they did they did a, a several hundred years ago, so I think mm -hmm. I'll manage. Then we have necromancers. Interesting. So you're gonna have necromancers in the game then? Yeah. Yeah. How is that gonna work though? Are you finding? Is there gonna be any magic on the game, or is it just gonna be purely melee? No, there's gonna be magic in the game. And how how difficult is that to implement? Difficult. Difficult. Yeah. From one. I don't want to. I, I don't want to say a lot about it, but um, from one we to ten, already got from basic ten, things. From one to ten, it's maybe seven or eight. Oh wow! Oh wow! That yeah. that's that that sounds nightmarish. It's 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 just a lot of coding. And then you have everyone's favorite um, uh, vampire, Vlad von Karstein. Is it everybody's favorite? Well, Vlad and Manfred. I'm more of a Manfred <laughs> myself, and Isabella, you know. Like... Yeah, I mean, I I personally like Vlad, but that's my preference. Yeah, me, my, mine, mine as well. Uh, Vlad and Isabella. Who doesn't like Isabella? I mean, everyone sips for Isabella. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, she can block kiss me all she wants. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Don't start something, man. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, moving on. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to the next topic. <laughs> yeah, we got warrior priests. Yeah, we got um. So we, after Vlad, we have Manfred, and then we have uh, warrior priests. And I'm starting to see that you're now starting to do the colorations. Um, and who is it? The artist is Kazar Tori Kazar. Is that correct? Uh, Cesar. 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 Yeah. Every every um every person we got on 2D has a distinct uh drawing style mm -hmm. uh if you, it, it's it's high yeah, quality. basically i mean it, it's, it, it's high it, quality it, it's very very high quality i will say that much oh yeah it is but it's it's still you you can see a lot of uh cesars and then um yeah we see a lot of the of those and, and oh with uh, when you go to the blood knives there's uh, um ambi that who created those you can see the difference but the amount of detail they both put in is stupid. Um, insanely. Yeah, insanely I mean, stupid. <laughs> it's like it's it's like the, yeah, I, I know it's 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 a lot. Yeah, of it's words. it's 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 a different style, but on the same level of de they are on the same level of detail mm. uh, with with the um, concept art, and they are helping out our 3D guys a lot with the concept art. Mm. It's going to make uh, it it makes their life so much easier. But also for anyone wondering, um, I, when I say stupid, I mean that in a good way. Like it's a stupid level amount of detail. Like you, you two know what I mean by when I say stupid, right? Like it's it's ridiculous the amount of detail that's put into this. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So next we uh, flagellants, uh, flagellants, F flagellants, flagellants, yeah, flagellants. Yeah. 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 Um, flagellants. Hmm. Um. Oh, okay. Uh. Next, we have the Empire Handgunners. Yeah. Yeah. Empire Handgunners, and then we have the Empire State Troopers, and we have Empire State Hats. They are all yeah. different helmets. You, you gotta have hats in the Empire. Yeah. I I see. Uh, they are a big fan of the f of a big fluffy um, Renaissance type hat, aren't they? Yeah. I mean, we we are all of us. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's one thing I've noticed: the bigger the hat, the more important the person. Well, you gotta sort your dominance. Mm. The bigger the hat, the bigger the balls. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we have the blunt knights by Ambiri Tom. Or yeah, Ambi. Yeah, we just um, call him Ambi. <laughs> Ambi. Yeah, we just call him Ambi. <laughs> Ambi. So Ambi's blood, Ambi's blunt knights again, different art style, but incredible amount of detail. I mean, if you look at the, those helmets, they're. They're beautiful. They are. They are very beautiful. Yeah. And and all the types of uh, gloves, uh, types of shoulders, yeah. he really laid it out. And and from this point on, we can you know just grab it, import it into Blender, and just hammer away at all those so uh, here, here's something units. Else. For 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 those listening, so let's say you have a concept artist. The concept artist draws you a, a concept art. How do you turn the concept artist to a three D? Talk me through that process. Like how do you take the the thing to a 3D. Oh, you just take the image, print it out, slap it a few times, and um, you know, blow some air. Voila, there's, there's, there's 3D. 
no it's it's um they they load it up into into blender as a uh background so so you can you know model on top of it and and they just go in create the shape and then uh once the shape is there they're gonna carve in the detail or um, make the detail into it mm -hmm. and then from there on they're gonna texture it and then they're gonna um uh, so the concept art it. is yeah. is very very important because that's like the, the, the skeleton that's like the pre-skeleton that's the mall uh, yeah it's a mall yeah wow so we, we we still have you know the the uniqueness of different 3d artists uh that puts their own stamp into it mm -hmm. just like you know ambi did with the plot knights it's his own stamp it's his own product it's based on a, ta a tabletop model it's based on warhammer but it's still something unique that mm -hmm. he he made and I, I I agree with that. I mean, it, 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 it's it's fun to put some unique stuff on there. And you don't have to like adhere to a strict like an absolute strict code of um, oh this is how it must look. There's no deviation. No, you you guys are free to do whatever you know you feel like. That's one of the mm. benefits of doing mods is you guys are mm, free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we 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 are trying to stick with it, but on the other end, not trying to stick with it. Yeah. We it's we like yeah a, we a balance. Like... Yeah. Mm. So, we we search the right balance. Then we have the Chaos Warriors, um, the Chaos, um, which again massive amount of details by Ambi. Oh yeah. And then we have another one by Zar. I can't say his name. Zar, uh, Zar. I'm sorry, mate. If he's watching yeah. this, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, he's basically done the Bright Wizards, or as I call them, the Mustache Boys. Because yeah. their mustaches are so funny. Like I, I've never met anyone with their mustache ever, never. And I want to <laughs> see someone with that with that mustache. Next Shouldn't be too hard. Or... Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have the witch hunters, or as I call them, vampire vampire targets. Oh, fun Helsings. Yeah. Uh, we have basically the, uh, witch, witch hunters, which are amazing. The, the amount of details is amazing. Then we have blood knight lances. That mm -hmm. looks just, oh, that looks scary. That looks so scary. Yeah. They, we, they need, you know, swords on a stick to stab people. Then we have so. tomb banshees. Now, for tomb banshees, um, obviously when it comes to the skeleton of the game, there, there's legs, right? Yeah. How difficult is it to remove that legs and instead put like a, cl a, a, a transparent cloth for the banshees? Y you can already done it, haven't we? Yeah, with the, uh, um, the tomb raids or the crime raids. Tomb raids, right? yeah, crime raids, tomb yeah, raids. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 cha and the chain and the chain cairns. Um, how how difficult is that? Um, it's not that difficult at all. Uh, Timur had uh maybe two hours and he had those already in game with the uh, legs hidden and stuff like that um it was a fairly short amount of time he needed wow okay right well, next we have vampire great sword some of these are looking more and more like katanas than than great sword like especially the ones on the on the far right um yeah yeah but, but it's 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 a tribute to the original uh grave guard uh with great weapons mm. It's a it's a homage, yeah, tribute. I mean, I love, uh, and again, every one of these things is high quality. Uh, and then we have the Sterling uh, Def Jacks. Um, again, this is amazing amount of qualities. Oh, so we have Empire Archers. So the hood is the hood going to be um for the Empire Archers? Is that hood on the left on the left side one? Is that going to be um how? Like, is that going to be on the head or on the shoulders? How is that going to fundamentally work? If I'm allowed. Uh, to it's. It's going to be on that, you know, dra draping down to the shoulders and back mm. wow. yeah, with our own uh, cloth theme and stuff like that. Sweet. And we have more Empire sh um, archers, one with a with an arrow sticking throughout his head. I don't understand. Is that like a... <laughs> it, that's, that's also a tribute to the uh, tabletop. Uh, you got one model with, uh, with a big... Uh... Arrow? thing on the side and then with one arrow into it i see and then we have um another empire jacket huntsman we have zombies 
Uh, how with the zombies with like with having not like one arm zombies or like um little limbs? How how difficult is that to implement? Or is that actually? Like we we haven't made these models yet. Mm. We're still um, working on those. Uh, they are still in progress, I think, mm. on the top of my head. Um, once I get an answer, I'll answer your question. Mm -hmm. Then we have <laughs> we have Bibelhoof. And the oh, first yeah. image that I see is a meme. Oh, yeah, Pac-Man. Yeah. Yep, 100%. Yeah. Uh, uh, that, that is, now, that is funny. I'm guessing that's intentional. Uh, it is. They're all little Easter eggs everywhere. So try oh, to find I'll, them. I'll keep my eye out for them. Uh, we have yeah. more Bieber Hoof. Um, it's amazing that the level of detail is stupid. Like, vampire scenery incredible amounts so this is like a vampire village i'm assuming yeah yeah and then we have the campaign map so the campaign map how uh is that like um is that like difficult for, how did you guys find the campaign map in in mountain blade like how did you um how did you find in terms of working with it is it easier is it hard is it difficult um it's it's not that hard to work with it in the Bannerlord engine, uh, but it's sensitive to crashes. And that's taking a toll on your patients. So crashes, it, it, constant it, it, crashes. So it always crashes? Uh, pretty much. And, and, I think... Any I think, reason uh, why? I, um, um, no. No. Nope, no reason. It's just, it crashed. Crash. Deal with it. Yeah. So, Constant, but so you spend you spend fifteen minutes editing this. Yeah, it's time time to take a break, dude. It's like we're gonna force you to. Yeah, I I think it's taking your mental health into uh, consideration. You so know? you you guys are con when you're ma um, when you're editing the campaign map, you're constantly clicking the control S, which I'm assuming is a save button. Um. Uh, yeah, but it doesn't work. No. Um. I had to you know click on the floppy manually. Oh my. On God. the save icon, so. Yeah, I'm doing one or two things. Uh, maybe, um, for example, placing woods uh, or forests. And then uh, I'm finished with that. I click save and then uh, hope it doesn't crash in the saving process. And then oh, I'll go on oh, to that, the next that, step. That That is harsh. Oh, that is evil. Crashing yeah, in the saving process. Yeah. Playing Russian roulette with your mental health, man. Right there. <laughs> oh, that is that sounds so evil. Oh, that sounds yeah. so evil. But it, this is one of the first iterations of the campaign map. Um, like like I said, we redo it. And um, the mountains are looking much more eroded at the moment. Um, there's a lot of changes on the campaign map. We even made the texture better that the tiling is, isn't that visible. Uh, Fusel helped me out with that, by the way. Mm -hmm. And um, we are still, you know, um, slightly polishing up the uh, texture map, mm. so uh, Kisaro is doing that. That's, yeah, that's so, cool. That's cool. Yeah, so there's a lot less tiling as it is at, uh, at this image. Mm. But overall, the same amount of towns. Mm. Next and, we and have uh, Lich. Next we have Lichburg, and it is wow, Lichburg. Yeah. Damn. It like this one amazes me. It looks like. Oftentimes, with um, when you look at the um of some of these um of some of these um games, uh, the city doesn't match the population, as I would say. It doesn't match the army. But with with, with you guys, and I'm looking at these castles and these cities, they, they match because it's like huge. It's like massive. I'm like, jeez, that's huge. Yeah, we have, of course, we have the army books. Uh, there's not a lot of information about the, the towns and stuff like that, but you do have the Dungeons and Dragons version of Warhammer, uh, the RPG one, mm -hmm. uh, the role-playing game, and there's a lot of information into it uh, mm -hmm. in, for the towns, uh, how big they are, and, and we are constantly cross-referencing uh, 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 across all the possible information we can find, so uh, we... we take the wiki we take the army books we take uh the rpg series and we just scour off the internet to look uh to look and provide more information about that kind of subject mm. 
So, so we are really trying to capture the whole Warhammer world mm -hmm. at its uh, I mean, purest in I mean, the game. The, 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 I'm impressed because when I'm, the last the last image of, of Lichburg tells me that you've got not only the city and the, and the forest, but you're also putting in fog, you're putting on lighting, ambiance, everything, uh, yeah. which is amazing. Which talking about ambiance, the sound. How is uh, in terms of music and sound? How are you guys doing? Voice acting, etc. How is that coming along? Well, it's it's gonna blow your mind. Uh, I don't know if you listen to West Bretonia Roads, but yeah, that's like a, a tip of the iceberg of what you can expect. We got some very talented people in the as voice actors, yeah. musicians. So it's gonna and, be good. Oh wow! Next up, we have the statue of Moor. Amazing. Yep. Again, oh my god, Dalak by Dalak or my Michelle Woods. Um, again, this is incredible. We have uh, an Empire Bell by Melon. This is, so but at this point, at this point, with the was your was your team bigger now um, compared to when you were starting to now to when you were. Um, because I'm assuming oh, this is, it's it's what? like um, like six months. No, seven maybe seven months ago it it really started to grow we got uh, more uh covered by youtubers and and uh, they were creating videos about us and and just our discord went from maybe a thousand people to three thousand in two months jeez it's like, it's wild because, yeah like a, a year ago it was just me and rob like rob just came up with this idea like i wanted to do this <laughs> Yeah. And it's like a show I'll help. Mm -hmm. And just the two of us and then we had like the, the first other member and just realized like a year later we got a team of like almost a hundred people like just in the uh the dev team from the top of my head, maybe more, maybe a little less. Mm -hmm. Uh but yeah, like there's nothing that we could have imagined, I think, mm. that it would just like blow up this big. Mm. <laughs> other other than interview, I'll show you I'll show you something interesting. Uh anyways, moving on. So the the Empire Bell, again, everything here is so high texture. Um the um miller miller just um Basque has made trading cards so as 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 these as these images coming through you're getting more and more people on the job allowing you giving you more and more um well more and more um hands on the project giving you more accessibility and more um what's the word i'm looking for here allowing you to expand much more faster is that the word yeah yes yeah that 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 uh nails it so yeah. you have these you have these trading carts you have observational tra trading carts you have coffins uh looking forward to putting people in those uh you have crypts which i'm assuming yeah. are, are the crypts going to be for these are for the empire i'm assuming from the skull uh yeah those are for empire and vampire territory their uh aesthetics are not that different of each other i know mm -hmm. it, it is but it isn't you know the, the normal towns are just empire towns mm -hmm. uh, and they're gonna have the almost the same grips probably a, a different texture over it or a, a little bit more worn next we have gravestones and we have the vampire coffins Ooh, yep. yeah. the vampire coffins and this is by M merlin and oh my god the devil the devil of detail on these vampire coffins yeah Damn. The the devils in the detail. Yeah. Um, <laughs> next we have gothic windows. Um, is there any part that's now looking at all these things? Is there any part now that's still a challenge for you guys in terms of difficult? Like anything that's such a big challenge for you, you don't quite understand how to basically fundamentally tackle it. Um, I have to think for this one. Anything. I think most challenges that we still face, right, are like um, the the custom skeletons, but that's like yeah. not our problem. That's mostly Till World just, you know, sitting on them films, I guess. Uh, uh, and I think if, if you have any issues, it's mostly like still coding based that we're trying to tackle, right? Um, yeah, but a lot is already possible and flushed out. Uh, we mm -hmm. have to only put it into the game, test it, and, and go over it properly. That's. Uh, it's balanced mm. that's probably the thing i think that's the hardest part to keep things yeah. balanced mm. making sure that we uh you don't like i think definitely one thing that we want to avoid 
game design wise is that you don't get these meta sticks, right? Like if you just have an army of Grave Guard with great weapons, you're always gonna win every battle regardless because they're too strong. Uh, I definitely think that we want to prevent that. And we want the player to play and toy around with as much as possible, right? Like actually mm -hmm. have a well rounded army, not just one unit massing and going and that will win always. Mm -hmm. Like kind of like have you with the, the current banner lot, right? With the, the order resolve for cavalry is like out of proportion compared to anything army that doesn't have as much cavalry. Mm -hmm. I think we definitely want to prevent a situation like that where. So you want to present a uh, prevent a situation where one unit is too overpowered and too extreme. Um, yeah, no, no spam stacks. Which brings me on no, to no spam um, stacks. Now I still have, I I do have two questions. The first one is, uh, I'm looking at the necromancer staff. So staffs are going to be in the game, correct? Staff and um. And you said that magic was going to be in the game. So how would staffs work? Is it just like a blunt instrument, or is it like going to be like a magical instrument, etc.? You don't have to give me well, too much detail. Just well, both. You can slap someone with it, with it and cast something with it. Oh wow, that's 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 cool. That's really cool. <laughs> I just, it's it's um, we need to bound, um, for example, a fireball to a item or a skill and uh, we're still flushing that one out maybe you can pick up a book and and you learn uh to raise the dead and but the only thing you can raise are skeletons mm -hmm. so um in order to expand those you gotta have skills or mm. uh maybe you need to find another book uh with better spells and stuff mm. like that and you need to grow with it and, I see. um that's also one of the things we're uh, trying to tackle at the moment. Mm. Uh, so how how are we going to portray all of those things into, you know, a class or a person? Mm. Moving onwards, we ha uh, which leads me on to the next one in terms of portraying questing. In terms of quests, because ba Ban um, Bannerlord wasn't very um, uh, big on the whole quest. There wasn't much questing. Uh, how how quest heavy is is the mod going to be? Oh. Um... I had a lot of brain farts, and I passed them all down to our lore masters, and they're cooking up something. Yeah, uh, yeah, that goes for like a, a lot, I guess. Like, I've been yeah. involved a little bit more with the lore, and like me and Jax have sit, like had sit downs in the past, and there's a lot of great ideas, and there's definitely a lot of potential for like a lot of quests, and not just like the go protect this caravan quest, right? Like, we want to make, um. We want to make something unique because I also think, especially in the sandbox game, right? It's your it's your story. Mm -hmm. I that's completely fine. But I personally always found it nice to have like a guideline in there. So I think quests can be just that. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, like we we have like a ton of brain fast, lots of ideas, and I think I the mean, only I, I imagine that once. So here's how I would see it go. So basically, you have your you have your idea for the quest. You then pass it through the law people and then they pass it and then they pass uh, the, st uh, the structure and then they pass it over to the writers and so forth and then it goes into the coding am i correct law and writers uh, are pretty much the yeah, same thing the, like they, the same, they do the same thing mm. yeah like for instance we have like uh, the, uh, just like a random example here right so we all know the great book of grudges mm -hmm. like we, we could for instance like the moment you you fuck up it gets noted down as a grudge and you need to avenge it quest pops up like how like that's the idea mm. And the law master's looking to the, okay, how would this law, work law wise? What would the like possible um, text for it be? Yada yada yada. They work that out, and then they send it on to coding. Like, hey, is this possible? Yes or no? And they say, yeah, we can do that. And then they start working on implementing it. That's kind of the process we go. Through I see. With that, that's very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting indeed. Moving on, we have the horses. Uh, we have the vampire count court um, horse armor, which I've got to say is. Um, Oh no, that's just very creepy to me. An uh, amazing level of detail, but that's just very creepy. The horse armor for the vampire cat is very creepy. It's like it still face. haunts me. <laughs> it still haunts that? me. I, I I can't look at it like no. really long. I get nightmares. <laughs> but 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 we have a beautiful statue of Sigmar, and and we got uh, free company militia armors uh, with insane level of detail. The horse armor still freaks me out. It's the faces, it. man. It's the faces. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's too it's it's too human. It's too human looking. No, no, no like imagine, right? Like you're you're up up front with like your pikemen, and you see that charge coming at you, and all you see is like the the faces just coming closer. Like I'd probably shit myself. <laughs> Same. Oh, 
uh, Free Company Militia, and we have Manfred von Karstein, um, yeah. MSX favorite. Uh, we also have uh, one of the bet, one of the most best looking. Um, oh wow, this is one of the best looking um, NPCs I've ever seen. Uh, Chain Wraiths. The Karm Wraiths. Yeah. Yeah. Incredible amount. And then we have. Um, Again, we have an incredible amount of detail. We have the Hellbirds, female Hellbirds. Yeah. yeah. Then we have Warrior Priest. Again, this is basically you putting the uh, the concept art into a 3D model. Yes. By Kevin Lass. And again, this looks amazing. Even, even going from a... Co because it's easy to put details in, in. It's easier to put details in the concept artist than it is to put in the 3D models. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it is. Look, and you still like that your 3d artists are still able to put in an insane level of details like just look at the little spikes little tiny mini spikes on the shoulder pads that is incredible that is insanely incredible next i i, I personally like the whole uh dirtiness of his uh skirt or mm. cloth mm. and um I, I mean i like shiny armor it's it's cool, but it's much cooler when it's uh, battle damage and and uh, uh, weathered and stuff like that. I mm. mean, it it makes the character come alive. It makes the character look experienced. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have um, the village empire, empire village. Sorry, and you have like a port, uh, which reminds me, how is how is naval battle going to be done, if at all, in this game? Um. Not, not, not on our to-do list at the moment. Not to do on your to-do list. It's, it's Wait, maybe yeah. really late, uh, really down the line. Um, first, get the basics, uh, nail it, and then from there on, uh, we're gonna look into it probably. I mean, I especially don't... like the, the 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 size of our map, right? We'll focus on the old world is not it's not necessary at this no, moment no, in no. time I mean, to I, explore I, I, that. I've, I've seen, so. I've, I've seen the map. It's, it's like there's not gonna be much naval. I don't imagine there'll be any naval uh, at all. Um, right, so moving on, uh, we have the village, uh, Empire Village, and we have a nice viewpoint of the Empire Village, and we have again Bieberhof. Yeah. And we have this beautiful image of Bieberhof with the sunset. And you've already told me that there's going to be there's a lot of um, a lot of Easter eggs all over. And there's one image of Bieberhof that really intrigues me. In well, interests me. There's this image in Bieberhof of a of a baby in a crib with horns. What is that? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, clearly, you do. An image doesn't <laughs> exist. It's classified. Uh, shouldn't be. Yeah. There. Class. So sorry, man. Classified information. I have to kill you if I tell you. Yeah, I, I mean, just, <laughs> just, you know, Google Warhammer law, baby with horns, and you probably, you know, you get a long way. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna get into uh, Beastman territory. So that's okay, Beastman. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah. Next, we have uh, a Chaos Shrine in Strughorn. Uh, we have a Vampire Town, which looks very, very eerie and looks like something's gonna pop up behind you any moment. Uh, next up, we have the Stir Hill. <clears throat> Again, more Stir Hills. I. I with the effect of the uh, of the um, with the effect with the ground effects and the map effects, is it easier to do or harder? Oh, of... it's 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 rather pretty easy. You just slap in an environment probe and and right. you're basically there. It's it's just you know you you uh, load it in uh, as an entity uh, and it's called and map something something on the top of my head, and it's just a big box you can resize it as you want and and it's um it's gonna um create all the fog uh, fog mm. in the game indeed yeah. next up we have the um concept art for volton uh yeah hero of sigmar or yeah. chosen then we have the concept art for hinrich kemler he's one of the favorites uh and next we have luther hoss Oh, uh, he's my favorite. Uh, uh, like Rob sympathy for Luther, like he one hundred percent is. So there's no debate in that. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we have Master Engineer. We have Empire uh, Pistoler, an outsider. 
We have yeah, Eldridge, yeah. Yeah, and when we have Wraith Kings, then we have Necromancers, Blood Knights, no, sorry, Black Knights, um, then we have Tomb Banshees. Yeah. Zombies, more zombies, more zombies, and Black Knights, a more detailed concept of Black Knights. We have Inner Circle Knights, very interesting. Uh, we have Blood Knight Horses. We have... How many weapons are you going to have? Because there's a lot of weapons here. Um, a lot. A lot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, really a lot. I think we're probably going to beat the base game with in terms of weapons and mm. shields. I think, I think shield. definitely one thing that we want to prevent, right, is like uh, to go back to Total War is like... When you look at like a unit formation up close, you see a lot of exact copies, right? Of like the same unit, same attire, same way they look. Uh, that's definitely one thing that we want to prevent is to not have like twin brothers in the formation every like row and a half or like every other like person. That's definitely, we want every character to be unique and not, you basically want to prevent you looking at the same dude. 20 times when you're like doing one hour play for it. There's one weapon here that I'm looking at that is, I'm wondering if it's possible to do a mountain, a, a, a mountain blade. Uh, a, f a flail. A flail. Uh, I'm not saying that right. A flail. The Britonian yeah. weaponry. Uh, the one on the left. The flail with the kind of fla the mace on the flail. Um, is that, are, are you guys going to put that in? Is that possible? Or is that too difficult? Uh -huh. You have to talk to uh, Resnov for that one. Um, he will probably share his pain, uh, but he got it working. <laughs> so it's difficult, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's it is, but he, he got it working. Um, so uh, he and Timur worked on it for quite some time, but they they managed to get it in and uh, uh, get it to work. And then you have a load your first loading screen. Now, loading screens are they easy to implement or difficult? Uh, they're pretty easy. It's just you know put it in, make a T pack out of it, and uh, do some coding. Mm -hmm. So that is okay. Really, uh, I mean the, the loading screens are beautiful. Um, Mike, moving on the world map assets. Uh, uh. Beautiful world map assets again. You have snow. You have world map assets with snow on them. You have world map and not more world map assets like villages, windmills. You have royal empire war horses without the creepy faces. Yeah, I'm I'm really happy with those. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then you have black steeds. You have empire pistols. Okay, guns. Um, how difficult is it to do guns in Mountain Blade in terms of functionality? How difficult is that? To do? I never burned my hands with it. Uh, but it was fairly fast into the game. I see. Yeah. So where we have more Empire Pistols. Almost coming up to the end of the updates. Empire Crossbows. Witch Hunter Hats. Looking very, very tall. We have vampire shields. Uh, more and more, I'm seeing uh, I'm seeing a correlation line that you're you've gone from the base and the uh, where you started to now having a 3D model ready to implement. Yeah, and and you know what the best part is? What? Most of it is already in. Incredible. Now you have a 3D model of Vlad von Karstein, a necromancer, a elite bright wizard. A Knights of the Blazing Sun, an Crone Warrior, a Witch Hunter, a Dogs of War, and the final two, the Skeleton Warrior, and the Empire General. An incredible array of updates from beginning till end. And looking back at it, is uh, do you guys... Um, is there, is there any one thing you like regret or say, oh, maybe we could have done it this this way, or maybe we could have done it done it that way, or is, is it all been? The, are you all just like, yeah, it had it had to happen this way so we can get to this point? Um, it's always easy uh, easy to talk about it afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, in, in my eyes, it's um, we learned a lot. We 
did things wrong. We learned from it. We talked about it. And we grow as a person within the team. Uh, everybody did. And it's it's just sometimes things gets its own life. And this is a mod that, you know, got an own life. Mm -hmm. And how, uh, if let's say, um, let's say Tail Worlds released a skeleton tomorrow on a hypothetical ideology. And, and, and I'm not expecting a, 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 just an estimate. If let's say uh, Tail Worlds were to release a skeleton of, for the modding tomorrow, all the assets, all the requirements you need, how, how, how far are you from finishing this? Are you? One step oh. at a time. I think that's a good answer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think one step at a time. Our our current um, uh, direction is um, getting uh, Sylvania Sterland uh, a part of the mood as as Empire, not as halflings, and Avalon as a uh, beta. Uh, mm -hmm. We still are going uh, to do that, even if they release their custom skeleton and um after that we're gonna expand the empire and then expand to bretonia and uh i believe maybe some chaos hint, hint. Well, let me get the rope map one sec yeah it's it's i think it was could be on the roadmap. Norska. i believe on top of my head and uh we'll still go our original idealist off you know just one check at a time uh we I mean, take if, it slow if, if it works for you then it works for you i mean i i, I mu it's much better to, to take your time than, than do something uh, than rush something speaking from experience i can tell you that much it's it, it, it ends with a much better where you end up with a much better mod and you end up with something that you can actually because you guys are planning to play this aren't you once it's all released and all done oh once it's this is released there's not not going to be any updates for it for the at least Maybe two or three months because everybody is playing it. Yeah. And nobody would be working, trust me. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, I'm going to be in the same boat as you. The moment that this is released, I'm going to be, I'm basically going to be um, videoing. I, I'm half tempted to just um, do some videos on it for your, my YouTube channel, but then I'm like, ah, maybe I should just play it for my own enjoyment. <laughs> because. I think you should do both. Yeah. Like first impression videos, man. Just like first time booting it up, just genuine fucking impressions. That that's pretty solid. Yeah, I mean, I personally, I, I there are some games I just enjoy, and 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 the mods that you the mod that you are creating is one of those mods that I'm like, wow, this is incredible. Like the le like you have such a passionate fan base and a passionate community and a passionate um, team working on an amazing mod. I think that's the beautiful thing about like the Warhammer community in general, right? Like, mm -hmm. sorry, uh, is that like it's a very open community, it's a very supportive community mm. uh, in general, and because it's like a bit more of a niche, um, a niche thing, like it also attracts a certain type of people, which are very like kind and generous, and mm. I think that's also like what pushed us like to this level, mm. like the. The amazing people in the team, the amazing people in the community, like, yeah, I, I think that that does a lot, like the just the Warhammer community in general. Mm. It, it it is interesting. So, with that being said, is there anything um, else you guys want to add onto the um, interview in terms of um, uh, of what you want to say, etc., in terms of the mod, um, anything that specifically stands out to you? Uh, I just want to share a render. That's the only thing, and like I said in the beginning, remember where you come from and stay humble. Wow! I think so that's... that is a is that a warrior priest? No, that's Luther Huss. No, no, no that, oh that, that's his boy Luther, bud. Oh yeah. my god! Are you okay with me sharing that on the video? Um, yeah, you be the first. Um, uh, yeah, go for it, man. Wow, you really are simping for Luther Huss, aren't you? I am. Oh, he is. I, like, I he can't deny you. it. I've I've read his book. Uh, it was. Um, I maybe finished it in in one or two days. It's so how many? It's, it's how a many, really good story. How many pages was there in in that book then? Oh crap! I, I got it lying around on my desk, so uh, I'm really fast like with the answer. Also, note here is like Rob isn't a re an avid reader. I have you know like uh four hundred and eleven. You finish a page a a, a book a four hundred and eleven in two day, in a few days. Yeah, it's a good story. My lord, this man simps for him so hard. Yeah. 
You can't see it. You can't find any big simp. It's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> and I can see um, MX, M MX, um, you also simp for, I'm guessing, the Tomb Kings, judging from your profile, Vic. Uh, I studied Egyptology, so yes, I study, uh, I simp for the Tomb Kings pretty hard. Like, you know, etc. he's my boy. <laughs> I, he, he didn't I, simp for them. He just fell in a pyramid scheme. <laughs> Pun? <laughs> but um, Pun intended. Touche. Touche. <laughs> so, this has been your boy, the Viking, and I'm here. Uh, this has been MX, MXX, or m how do you uh, Just the MXM. Just the MXM. It's way MXM, easy that way. <laughs> MXM. Just MXM and Lob, um, the, one of the, f the head developers of the, of the um, venerated or old world mod for mountain blade banner lord mouthful um and this mod is amazing i'll put down the links in below check down the links um in the description please um go follow this mod join the discord um keep your ears out for this mod it is an amazing mod with uh, very friendly people and all the people i've talked to on the discord have always been friendly full of humor getting memes the meme level is amazing on point um so please check it out and yeah, have a lovely day. It's been your boy, the Viking, out.